Well, time to announce uh, another of our sharks for 2023, and use it as a uh, another new face, uh, and uh, a real pleasure to uh, welcome Ben Adamson to the uh, family, mate. Uh, welcome south. Well, not quite. You've you've actually come quite away already in your young basketball career because you're just fresh back from the states, right? Yeah, just um just got back home from Jacksonville, Florida yesterday, actually. So, um, just settling back into New Zealand and looking forward to getting down south. Well, you just get acclimatised, and then you'll come south to the, uh, you know, to, to the deep south for uh, for the shark season. Hey, so uh, really stoked to bring you on board. Let's let's start a little bit about your story. We'll, we'll get into the uh, Florida experience in just a tick or two, but but tell us a little bit about your basketball background because, of course, you were part of the Hawks setup last year. Yeah, yeah. So I um I spent twenty twenty one. I was over. I spent a year over in Darwin and in Australia, um, just learning and playing up there. And the opportunity arose to go play and took it while I could and then uh, came home last year, was playing down in uh, Hawke's Bay with the Hawks, which was real cool. Got to learn um, learn a lot from some pretty talented ball players that they have down there. So, no, nah, it was good. And, um, yeah, now looking – just shot over to Florida and now looking forward to coming back and seeing what Invercargill's like. Yes, mate. Well, let the education begin. Um, so tell us about the Florida experience because and, and how that came about. Because what it was, it was sort of a prep school basketball academy type uh, setup over there that you went for a month. Yeah, yeah, it was good. Um, yeah, so a coach of mine from Auckland here said, "Look, if you want the opportunity to go play, uh, I've got a coach over there who's keen for a few players." And as soon as he said that, obviously, as a basketball player, especially a young basketball player, hearing basketball in America, you, you know, eyes light up a little bit. So, yeah. Jumped on a plane as soon as I could, went over there. I was over there for just over a month. Um, and it was cool, like, learning the game and how it's played over there. And uh, the coach I had over there was real smart, real um, real switched on. So it was good to learn a few things. And hopefully I can bring some of that stuff back to back to the NBL this year. Nice. I love the sound of that. So what were you doing, just living and breathing the game for uh, for a month? Or did you actually get to have a bit of a, a trip, trip around as well? Uh, yeah, so we literally, it was go over and play so training two or three times a day had probably two or three games a week and then um got to travel down to orlando uh, a couple times which was quite cool which is about a three-hour drive away from where i was so that was quite cool and then we headed up to south carolina for a national tournament um probably about a couple days before i flew home so a couple days uh week weekend just passed which was quite um yeah it was it was a good experience there was a, a lot of talent there so it was a bit of a Hard fought battle, and we came up a bit short, but that's how basketball goes, I guess. Sometimes, yeah, that's uh, that's exactly it. So, tell us a little bit about uh, the, the attraction from a sharks uh, point of view. Obviously, the, the the conversations that you've had, and I'd have to say you you uh, you know you coached last year, McDowner, who uh, who I know guys connected with as well, speaks very highly of you. So, uh, so that's a good sign. Yeah, it was good to hear that um, Mick put in a few good words for me. I uh, had a good time last year learning under him. He's a he's a pretty good coach. He um yeah helped me in a few different ways so helped me develop which was good yeah um oh I'm super excited I've only heard good things about the about the Sharks I've heard um that guy's a brilliant coach and some of the players I've seen that have been announced and stuff already for uh the season coming up uh obviously well credited so I'm looking forward to learning a few more things from those guys and yeah just getting involved really all right, and tell us about you as a player. I mean, give us your uh, give us your dimensions and your uh, and your game. What's the what's the Ben Adamson uh, you know scout? Uh, well, I'm pretty athletic, so I've been told. I like to I like to try and dunk the ball whenever and as often as I can. Um, I just love being out on the court. I, I I try to play. I try to pride myself as much as I can on the defensive end. You know, I've, it's where basketball's won really. Stop the other team from scoring. Um, yeah, oh, yeah. I don't know how to. I don't know. I don't, want to, I don't know how to sound off without sounding a bit too overconfident. Yeah. I guess. Um, no worry. This is the most uncomfortable part of any of these conversations when I ask people about themselves. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Look, uh, super athletic. Like to shoot the ball. Um, yeah. Wing player, really, to a T. I guess, as you'd put it. Yeah, it's about it. Nice, mate. Well, listen, I'm looking forward to seeing you in action out on uh, out on court. We're going to, uh, I think, get you down in about a week's time and, and get you to work, eh? And uh, looking forward to season 2023, Ben. Hey, thanks for joining us, mate. Uh, jet lag and all, you've done very well. Cheers. Yeah, appreciate it. I'm looking forward to it.